In this video, we are going to get into the most important aspect, which is getting an opportunistic trade entry. You have to put as high a probability as you can to your trade, regardless of the time frame. And that's what this video is going to be. And we are going to look at the multi time frame trend indicator. Let me give a brief explanation of the multi time frame trend indicator, because this is a very powerful, very versatile and flexible trend indicator. This indicator captures price action trends on all chart time frames and it does a deep trend analysis on five different levels on a single chart. So it can work for all kinds of trades, whether it's intraday swing and even long term trading or investing. And it also has a visual representation of a master indicator. When all five of these time frames are aligned, the master indicator will light up. This makes it a no brainer tool for a trade entry. Now we are going to go into the platform and we will look at the multi time frame trend indicator for various trading scenarios, which is day trading, short term or swing trading, somewhat longer, medium term and of course, long term investing as well. So let's go over to the Thinkorswim platform and take a look at that. We'll start with a day trading example and this is the SPX index itself and yesterday was the jobs number August 5th and the jobs number came out good. The market started off uh, slightly higher, went, went down and then went up nicely over here till the middle of the day. And then towards the second half of the day, it just went down. So let's take a look at this multi time frame trend and how we can understand this indicator because it's very powerful and it could have given you a bunch of lovely trades. If you are a day trader and you wanted to trade the SPY, for example, the spider ETF, then you would look at the SPY or the SPX chart. The chart would be the same. And you're looking at these five different rows over here. The chart time frame itself is a one minute chart because that's what you would use for a day trading example. The five rows here represent five time frames. The bottom row always represents the chart time frame, which is the one minute. The row above that is you can see these configurations. It's five minutes. The row above that, the third row is 10 minutes. The fourth row is 15 minutes. And then the fifth row is 30 minutes. Now, this is how you would want to configure for a day trading environment because you're not going to be in the trade for more than a few minutes, maybe half an hour, maybe 45 minutes or an hour. And then you would want to get out of the trade. But how do you get the entry or where do you get the entry? And that's where this master level indicator comes in. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit here now and explain how this indicator works. So uh, as soon as the market started, you know, you can see that I did a little bit of volatility over here and you don't want to take a day trade in the first uh, 30 minutes anyway. But what you're waiting for is for these master level indicators to light up, whether it's bullish or bearish, whatever the case might be. When the master level indicator lights up, that means it's telling you it's aligned on all the five time frames of this indicator. So which means it's aligned on the one minute, it's aligned on the five minute, it's aligned on the 10 minute, 15 minute, as well as the 30 minutes. So this gives you the best visual indicator for taking a trade. I know all these charts look sometimes easier when you look at it in hindsight, but with this indicator, you can have the best possible high probability trade entry because you, you have all five of these uh, indicators uh, lit up. And so even if you take the trade here, uh, you would be in this trade, I would say until about here, because just because you see one red, especially on the lowest level, it's not time to get out of the trade. It's telling you uh, it's going to be choppy on the one minute, but then on the five minute, 10 minute, 15 minute and the 30 minutes, uh, things are still bullish. So you don't need to come out of the trade. Once you see two or more dots come in, then you can say that the trend could be changing. And if you want to be safe, you just come out of the trade. Or if you want to hang in there to wait for the third row to come in, you know, that's a little later. And in this case, it would have worked out fine because you could have gone all the way. But as a precautionary measure, if you want to come out after the after two rows have, have uh, changed their uh, trend, that's fine. You know, that's just playing it safe and that's good. So this is how you would do it. And the first half of the day, once you caught this master level indicator here, you could have had a very nice trade. So you're looking at the, the SPX uh, from about 45.12 all the way till somewhere here, 
which is uh, about 45.26. That's for 14 points on the S&P, which would be about 1.4 points on the uh, spider. And if you're using options, you can get a lot more leverage uh, with your trade there. So this is how it would work on an intraday basis. Now let's go take a look at the second half of the day because that's when things start changing. And if you were on a, in a bullish trade, you you hung on uh, somewhere over here. You can see that you know there's multiple things happening here. Uh, that definitely suddenly all four rows become red, and so you know you would definitely come out of the trade over here. And then you want to wait for the next master level indicator and see what that is telling you. So clearly the trend is changing uh, from here. And sure enough, the master level red indicator starts lighting up somewhere in the 4528 level. After that, you can see that you only see one of the other, in this case, the green. Otherwise, it's a complete red all over and you would have been in this bearish trade almost all the way till the end. Perhaps over here, you would have come out. So you're looking at a trade from about 4528 all the way to 4481, that's a 40, 50 point move on the SPX. So that would have been a very sweet trade if you were trading the uh, spider, if you were shorting the spider, or if you had put options on the spider uh, or the SPX. The SPX has options, but it's not a tradable index. So if you were using any of those tactics, you would be in a very, very good trade. After that, you can see it starts becoming a little choppy. And so there is no trade. So. Uh, yesterday, there would have been two very nice trades on the spider or the SPX. One came in around one hour into the beginning of the day right here. And that would have taken you all the way to for about uh, 15 points, maybe more if you hung in there a little bit. Uh, and then the second opportunity came in the second half of the day. And just because it starts moving down, it uh, that's not the time to take a trade. You want to get a full confirmation visually and that confirmation is when the master indicator lights up which tells you that it's aligned on all five time frames and then for the rest of the day you are in a bearish trade the bearish trade actually uh, turned out to be a much much better trade than the bullish trade so this is how you would identify uh, the entry point so this is the part two in the first part we use the scanners the very powerful uh, watch list indicators to tell you what is a tradable candidate and in the second part tells you how to get the best entry. In the next uh, couple of videos, we are going to look at slightly longer time frames. So how you would use the multi time frame trend indicator if you were a swing trader, which is you're going to be in the trade for maybe a few days to a couple of weeks. And what about slightly longer than that? If you're in, you want to be in a trade for about four to eight weeks or so. And then finally, what if you're a long term investor and you're looking for long buy and hold kind of trades? How can you use the multi time frame trend indicator for all of those time frames? That's what we'll be going into in the next couple of videos.